The Florida Republicans who gathered for a victory party were being told to prepare for defeat. The exit poll predicted a Clinton win, which would pretty much guarantee her the presidency. But then they started counting the real votes, and things were looking up and up. He's been my candidate from day one because he's not a politician. It's kind of like um, Britain. We're sick of him. Across town at the equivalent gathering of Democrats, the mood was heading in the opposite direction. I'm sickened. I'm without words. I thought for sure that Hillary would win this election, that Hillary would win Florida. If he can get, you know, worried about a tweet or he's insecure about his image and he has his finger on the nuclear button, what does that mean for the world? Victory was slipping away. Soon the rest of the key swing states were following suit. Then, when Trump's victory in Florida was confirmed, This is a result which may have confounded the pollsters and pundits and may shock the rest of the world. But the people who voted for and campaigned for Donald Trump, well, they aren't surprised he's now heading for the White House. People believe in him. He's going to do exactly, he's going to be everything that he says he's going to be. Everybody believes in him. I'm so happy and I'm so proud. I'm so, I'm so proud to call him the president of the United States because that's what's about to happen. Across the country, it was a similar story. North Carolina and Georgia backed Trump. I'm not a deplorable. I'm just a um, tax-paying citizen. Georgia! The blue firewall of what should have been reliably Democrat states was being chipped away. Wisconsin, Michigan, Ohio, all fell. The Clinton headquarters looks pretty somber. Go Trump! Hoorah! It was a stunning reversal of the Obama years, a result which hardly anyone predicted. The people had spoken, and the answer they gave suggested Washington had been ignoring them for too long. Ian Woods, Sky News, Tampa, Florida.